This High Court case needs care because the principles are still cited, but the judgment was handed down in 2000, before the Civil Liability Act substantially reformed negligence law in Australia. The plaintiffs were amateur rugby union players aged 18 and 19. In each case, a problem with a scrum resulted in the plaintiffs suffering severe spinal injuries. They each sued a range of officials and organisations, but the case which made it to the High Court was their claim against the members of the International Rugby Football Board, which is the game's governing body and rulemaking organisation. Essentially, their argument was that the board had the capacity to make laws for the game, and that included laws intended to make the game safer for players. They argued that the board had a duty of care to rugby players everywhere in the world to protect those players from the risk of harm while playing rugby, and that had the board made better rules relating to scrums, the plaintiffs would not have suffered their spinal injuries. The judgment touched on a number of legal issues, but for our purposes, two were very important. First, the players were volunteers. They chose to play rugby union, knowing what the game was and how it was played. A volunteer who plays the game knowing the risks can reasonably be assumed to be accepting those risks. The majority judges said, The decision to participate is made freely. That freedom or autonomy is not to be diminished, but with autonomy comes responsibility. Second, the judges made the point that sport is considered to have an important role in society, and that sport in many cases simply cannot be turned into a risk-free exercise. Even if it could, removing the risks might well remove those very things that make the sport worthwhile. Chief Justice Gleeson said, People who pursue recreational activities regarded as sports often do so in hazardous circumstances. The element of danger may add to the enjoyment of the activity. Accepting risk, sometimes to a high degree, is part of many sports. This doesn't mean that sporting organisations have no duty of care or that they shouldn't look at ways to make the game safer, but some risks are an inherent part of the sport, and if a person wants to avoid those risks, they must simply choose not to play. Mm-hmm.